The SC Maglev and Railway Park in Nagoya gave us an excellent overview of the railroad industry in Japan. At one end, we're looking at some of the engines that pull the Shinkansen bullet trains that the country is so famous for. The other end features older locomotives and even trolleys. Of course, the focal point of this museum is the forthcoming magnetic levitation or maglev train that's been under development for decades. We were able to go inside a maglev passenger car to get a preview look but it didn't look very different from the coaches we had traveled on so far. The 300X, currently in service, looks plenty streamlined to us, but there's a notable difference. Here's the new MLX-011 engine. Do you notice anything missing? How about windows for the engineer? and windshield wipers. It has headlights, but windows would serve no purpose on a computer-driven train since it has no engineer. And don't worry, maglev trains won't be operational until 2027, when a new line is completed between Chinagawa and Nagoya. Meanwhile, experimental runs hauling passenger cars have achieved speeds up to 375 miles per hour railroading has come a long way from the days of steam locomotives in Japan. These big boys had windows, but they were located so far back, it's amazing an engineer could see the track ahead. Are you wondering how magnetic levitation works? Well, this model shows how propulsion coils embedded in the side rails can move the train forward. I was excited to be shown the most amazing electric train layout I had ever seen. It's the largest railway model diorama in Japan. As we explore it, I'll share a little background on Japan's railroad industry. Until 1987, the railroads were government owned. Today they are privatized, with more than 100 local and regional companies providing passenger service. The major companies include seven JR enterprises, of which Central Japan Railroad is one. And this group of seven controls roughly two-thirds of the 19,000 miles of rail that connect major cities and tiny towns throughout the country. Convenience and efficiency make rail the preferred means of travel. Because almost everybody uses the railroad system, Japan has 46 of the world's 50 busiest railway stations. As for efficiency, Japan's punctuality is legendary. The best on-time performance in the world. For example, in 2018, the average delay on the Tokaido Shinkansen was less than one minute. In Greater Tokyo, private automobiles are used for fewer than 20% of daily trips in part because only those who have a dedicated parking space are allowed to own cars. If you're wondering, why doesn't the United States follow suit? Well, consider the difference in size and urban concentration. All the islands of Japan could fit inside the state of Montana. Connections are easy, especially with less than 1% of freight moving by train. But I have to admire the Japanese for having made very smart use of rail. Now we say sayonara to Nagoya and the glimpse it gave us into industrial Japan as we board, what else, a JR train. 